When land is lost, man has nothing to stand on. We, the countries of the global north, are responsible for a large part of global extreme, CO2 emissions. We see the complete emissions. denial of man-made global warming. Economic losses due to extreme weather conditions and weather events are alarmingly And for increasing. many of us, the risk of a wipeout event is simply too great for us to this carry. This is not sustainable. What they are going to ask is why the energy resources are so expensive and why their living standards have dropped so dramatically. We are running out of time. The global fossil fuel crisis must be a game changer. This is the beginning. The consequences of global climate change, which the UN has already warned us about, are really coming to bear on us in very harsh terms right now. I think that what we need to be creating is the new energy economy. The key is to be able to adapt. Remember, this transition is about changing the infrastructure of the world. I think without a doubt, you know, we're talking about the energy transition. Everybody wants to do better. The key to addressing climate change is sustainable development and restoring balance. Such as solar, wind, hydrogen, geothermal, and other means of sustainable Climate sources. security goes hand in hand with energy security. The situation is urgent, but it is not hopeless. The era of fossil fuels will give way to the new era of sustainability. And we must ensure that no one is left behind. There really is room for hope. It starts right